I said that I was gonna do this movie. I think I just needed a day in between. So here we go, man. Let's talk about Pet Cemetery for the 31 vlogs of Halloween. Why am I so stupid? Why did I do this? Pet Cemetery. This movie, I didn't think it was that scary when I first watched it. Uh, but like a fine wine or, you know, pumpkin head, as I've grown up a little bit more, entered adulthood, and keep in mind, I haven't seen this movie in a long time, probably my late teens. Um, this movie has gotten better and better and legitimately terrifying. It is on a lot of people's list for top scary movies. I don't think it has a place in that list to me, but I mean, horror is also, also subjective. But this movie affects me a lot more now for similar reasons to Pumpkinhead. But as far as this movie goes, the, the acting is spectacular. Dale Midkiff, who plays Lewis, uh, or Doc, Dr. Lewis, whatever you want to call him, I really want to give special mention to him because he starts out as a warm, affectionate father and husband, whereas I kind of felt like his wife was kind of bitchy to begin with, but I warm it up to her. Um, he starts out warm, he starts out affectionate, and as the movie progresses, after the death of Church, and then ultimately with the death of Gage, you start to see him detract and unravel. You start to see a man lost, and then ultimately a man insane, and then a man just bereft of anything. Uh, he's lost his mind. And if you read the book, it makes a lot more sense as well. It's not only the fact that he's dealing with the loss and death of his child, it's also the fact that he's being tormented by the entity that is reanimating these corpses. Which, by the way, if you're not familiar with Pet Cemetery, the whole concept of it is there is a cemetery that has a cursed land above it where uh, old Indian tribes, the uh, Micmacs, I believe, used to bury their dead and the dead rise from there. But they don't come back the same. So essentially the soul leaves the body, the body is then a reanimated corpse inhabited with Wendigo. And Wendigos, those are some interesting creatures. Wendigos are ancient demons from Native American lore. The Wendigo used to terrorize the Algonquian, Iroquois, the League of Five Nations, all of them. Uh, from Canada through New York, the, basically the entire Northeast region, you can find legends of Wendigo. The Seneca Nation, which I'm very, I live very close to, the Tuscaroras, they all have legends of Wendigos. This is a demon of despair. This is a demon of cannibalism. This is a demon of emaciation. So when I say that these bodies are inhabited with a Wendigo, I'm talking about cannibalism. Now this is a demon that is not very prevalent in film, not in the way that it should be, because they're terrifying. Like, I'm not saying I believe in demons, but if I did, I would be scared to death of Wendigos. There is a movie called Wendigo that is out and it's not good. Aside from the novel of Pet Cemetery, the only other decent um, iteration that I've seen in film or um, written word would probably be an episode of Fear Itself. I believe it's called Flesh and Bones. Oh, and Wendigos are in a video game called Out Cold. Out Cold? Until Dawn. I always mess that up. Until Dawn. There's Wendigos in that one. They're terrifying. They're interesting to learn about, and it's a phenomenal plot device. Unfortunately, this 1989 movie does not exactly deal with them. It's alluded to them if you know the source material, but it doesn't really, it doesn't mention them by name, it just, the Pet Cemetery is what the Pet Cemetery is. But they are in the novels. And guess what? There is a remake coming out in April 2019. So you guys have gotten a little bit of demon lore. You guys have gotten a film review on the 1989 version, which by the way is scary. There is th the wife's sister who dies of uh, spinal meningitis. There are several scenes that just haunt me. It's it's not good. I don't like it. I don't like it. Um, it does not leave my psyche. And 
Gage looks a lot like my kid, which made this movie incredibly emotional to watch. So I had the horror, I had the heartbreak, but ultimately it really is a good movie and it holds up. It really does. But how about we all take a look at the trailer for the 19 or for the 2019 remake together. And again, this is coming out in April. Let's take a look. I'm watching it on my phone. Here we go. Okay, so, what do you think? Wow. This whole place is ours? I can go to throw in a whole forest as a new backyard. The truck. Ominous. It was a myth. Kids used to dare each other going to the woods at night. They knew the power of that place. They feared it. Those woods belong to something else. Belongs to the Wendigo. Those little kids with the faces. Is bad. These kids with the faces, they look like the ones from Castle Rock, that Maybe. second or third episode. Just some crazy folk tale. But there is something up in those woods. There's something that brings things back. Yeah, a Wendigo. Sometimes dead is better. Coming in April. Wow. Um, it looks fantastic to me. It really does. Um, and I really hope that they deal with more of the folklore with that because I say the word a lot, man, but that's because you should look these up. You should look up some of these legends. The Wendigo is a terrifying presence. It's a terrifying demon, and it is in multiple Native American tribes. So check that out. If you have not seen 1989's Pet Cemetery, check that out for sure. Some of the things in that movie are dated, but the suspense and pacing is fantastic. Um, the acting is very, very good. There are some very haunting moments. And um, how about we all together? Like, we'll all keep in, like, cell phone contact and we'll all just go to the theater opening night to see Pet Cemetery 2019 and I'll do a live stream right from the the parking lot now maybe I'll get Chris Chavez or maybe I can wrangle David Duncan to go see it with me or Aaron O'Brien and uh, we'll just do a live stream and we'll talk about it directly afterwards so that's gonna be this episode do not forget to comment down below Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, just smash it until you can't smash it no more, and I will see you guys tomorrow.